Richard, patch me to Seraph. We may have a problem here. Wonderful. Adam, talk to me. This factory, where the hacker's signal originated, it's got FEMA signs all over it. I think it's some kind of internment camp. FEMA? That's impossible. Half of our contracts are government issued. I know. But the soldiers who attacked us are here. And from the looks of it, they've got access to some pretty impressive equipment. I better make some calls. Find out who's given the orders and get back to me.
target locked.
Access granted.
I heard something. I'm gonna go check on it.
Access granted. Jensen, that frequency we tracked just got a burst of activity. I think these guys might be pulling out. Yeah, I've kind of been getting that feeling. Any idea who's running the show? They're using some kind of code. But from what I can gather, the guy giving the orders is still a level below you. Nice job, Pritchard. I'll find him.
Access granted. Lucky here. We got us a Boy Scout. He must be the one who mucked up my operation at the morgue. Get rid of him, Barry. Oh, that's gonna be a pleasure.
Die on me yet. This Boy Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader, the one who called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA gives a rat's ass about some rinky dink biotech corporation's company secrets? <laughs> you got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah, like who? Who? Get to Shanghai, Hengsha Court Gardens, <coughs> Penthouse. Tell him. <coughs> Tell him. <coughs> Tell him Baron sent you straight to hell. They see you. No, I was flying dark in case it got hot. You all right? I'm fine. Patch me to Seraph. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there.
Yeah, take us back to Saraf Industries. None too soon, if you ask me. Strap in and hold on. to Francis, but I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. I can't believe it, Jensen. An internment camp smack dab in the middle of Detroit. Shit. You know, people have been talking about these kind of things ever since I was a kid, but to actually find evidence, to know the people running this country distrust us so much, makes you wonder if they really did close Guantanamo. You know, people have been talking about these kind of things ever since I was a kid, but to actually find evidence... We need everyone on high alert. It's not only the pro who might want to get attacked. A secret prison camp hidden in Highland Park? What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarif? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Don't you have some investigating to do?
I told you, that backdoor pipeline allowed someone to hack into our system. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. My memories are none of your damn business, Taggart. Did I hit a nerve? Forgive me. It's my nature as a psychologist, I suppose, to want to ask the difficult questions. You see, I find that ignoring them doesn't make them go away. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Not just yet. You got a lot of balls coming here. After your followers attacked our plant. What makes you think you'd be welcome? They were not my followers, Mr. Jensen. The Humanity Front is a peaceful organization. Radicals have no place in it. Right. Do you know why I formed this organization? Because I saw a technology about to run rampant. You yourself seem to be living proof of it. I'd be dead without these enhancements. I understand that. I also understand that on an individual level, these issues can be... complicated. But we must look beyond our personal interests if we are to see mankind survive the next century. We'll survive, all right. With or without your condolences. I'm glad we had a chance to talk, Mr. Jensen. Meeting you has been very... informative. Do my job here, sir. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Most of your people have been kind enough to give us a wide berth, so let's keep the hassle to a minimum. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet once he was, 
Too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know, hoping to be gunned down by the police rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropathy dependency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. I am sure you are very busy, Mr. Jensen, Real shame as are Mr. Taggart and I. Tonight. My condolences. Athena, you've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age, Adam. No. But I know nothing gets by you. If Sarif had done something that could compromise us... Mr. Sarif has only the best interests of this company in mind, Adam. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? I've been here since the beginning. I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important. And he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you shouldn't have. Now, if you'll excuse me... I'm busy. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? I <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But you can't expect me to tell you every detail of this company's operations every single day. We're at war here. And it's your job to protect us from enemies who try to take us down. You should have found that loophole without my having to tell you about it. You know, Frank wanted me to hire experts, an outside security firm to protect us, but you convinced me you could do it. Are you saying you were wrong?
Adam, are we done here? I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. What? Well, I never considered that. I... Sorry, son. I guess you have proved yourself today. I just wonder if you're being a bit paranoid here. Fixating on details that aren't critical? I mean, are you so shaken up by what happened six months ago by your failure to make a difference then that you can't roll with the punches anymore? Damn it, Adam! I brought you back in today because you have an immediate crisis to deal with. Questioning me about things that don't matter isn't going to bring Megan back. With all due respect, sir, I am trying to do my job. The job you hired me to do. The job you even brought me back in for tonight. But it feels like you're getting in the way. Especially when you start bringing Megan into this. I'm not getting in the way, I just... Okay. Okay, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm the one overreacting. The data I streamed... had nothing to do with Megan or her work. It was just a routine, fact-finding check that sprang from one of our discussions. The kind of check I have to run quite often around here, believe it or not. Now, if somebody backtraces the transmission and gets a look at it, I very much doubt they'll know what to do with it. Trust me, we're fine. I would like nothing better than to trust you with this, boss. But trust is a two-way street, and the way you've handled this entire conversation so far makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? Adam, of course I trust you, son. And it's not that I'm afraid to tell you the truth. It's just that, honestly, I'm afraid you'll take it the wrong way. All right. Look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the Typhoon, or with some other top-secret military project that I haven't told you about? 
The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Sorry, Adam. I can't help you right now. I'm trying to deal with the fallout from the Taggart meeting. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry. We'll be there before you know it. Climb in. knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out.
you seen Ning lately? Not since last week. 